All right, we're gonna blow out our sprinklers. First thing you do is turn off your water. I am in my crawl space. This would either be in your basement or somewhere in your house. So the outside is right out this wall. And that's where my, my junction, uh, my backflow pressure thing for the sprinklers is. Um, so if you just look at where it goes in the house, you can kind of find it. This one's in our crawl space. This upward angle is kind of not good. I'll show you how to blow that out. This is the main water coming in and it tees off and usually this goes into the sprinkler system. So this is on, turn it sideways, 90 perpendicular, now this is off. So no water from here is gonna flow into there. Um, later we'll be blowing out that one. But so now that this is off, we can go up to our, our Well, you can put a fitting on here or you can just take off the whole, the whole thing. I have to take off the whole thing so there's not enough room with this wall right here. The main, main water down here come into this pipe, and then I turned off this, leave this one fully on, basically so no air pressure goes back in. You could leave this open if you want, but it's better to close it, more pressure into your sprinklers. You can use these valves, you can put a thing on here, connection to an air compressor. I have to take mine off because I don't have enough room, so I just take off this whole thing. So you can see, I take off this whole thing out of here and just put my own in there. Got it down there tight, hooked it up to an air compressor. I have a six gallon air compressor, tanks at about 125. I took off the top, so this top goes on right here like this. I took this off because this little valve was staying down and it wouldn't come up and seal. There. So now it's sealed up. That's what we want. So I'm gonna I'm gonna actually hold it up and then release the pressure. All right, now you run your zones. So for me, it's manual. I'll just do all, that's fine. I hit manual again on this one. So now it's running air through the system. I'll show you. You just heard my compressor kick on. So it's blowing. Right now there's no water hooked up. Just the air compressor. So all the air that's, all the water that's in the lines is blowing out right now. That's that sound you start to hear with that air coming out. We're supposed to get four to seven inches tonight, 30 degrees, and then tomorrow night it's gonna be 20 degrees. So that compressor is actually big enough because it's, it's blowing it all out, that's nice. The last one I used was my neighbor's and I had to reset it. It would lose pressure and I have to turn it off and build pressure and turn it back on. And but yeah, that's doing a good job. Um, I've got to hold my valve up here. I looked up, it says 50, 50 PSI to 80 if you have PVC, 80 PSI. I was doing it like 100, hope I didn't break something, but um, basically you manually control your, so my sprinklers are on right now, but there's no water, so they're not popping up. This valve's closed, once I open it, it'll put air into the system here. I actually have to hold up on this, this thing right here. That right there, I have to hold up on that valve in there, you see? Uh, and then I'm going to open this up. So there's station three. Blowing all the water out of there. That's at uh, 80 PSI. So you just run your sprinkler system through the zones while you hit it with air instead of water. These are still popped up. There's not much air in this, water in this one, but down there, the lower ones you can see. Now it's running out of air, but that's probably enough for that zone. We got a good amount of water out. So now I'll let the compressor charge back up and then I'll do, go to the next zone. Close that valve, let this build back up with pressure and then I'll open it up for the next zone. All right, so we did station three. I'm gonna move this up to station four. This still is hooked up in here. I'm gonna hold this valve up with my hand because the air doesn't push that up there for some reason, it just shakes around. I don't know why. Tank set full, full tank, 120 PSI, six gallons. 
My output pressure is 80 PSI. Valve's off, I'm gonna turn it on while I'm holding. On, holding this up. And now this zone. So this is zone four. Getting all that water out of there. There's quite a bit still in the lines up here. There we go. So some water still coming out, but it's not a whole lot. And what'll happen is it'll it'll drain down. And when I do those zones, it'll blow out there too. My compressor is only only six gallons, so the tank is the tank is pretty much empty now. I'll just shut that off, build up pressure again, and then maybe do it again on this zone or go to the next zone. Pressure is back full again. We're on zone four. I'm gonna go to zone five. Zone five's on now. This is all hooked up still. I'm gonna hold this up with my hand. That's closed, that's open. Now I'm gonna turn this valve on. There we go. And zone five. Sweet. Still a lot of water in the lines. But we're getting it. But it's pretty much just air now anyways. Yeah, so these are all blown out. I can go I can go shut off the valve, save that last bit of air. It doesn't take as long to build back up. So shut off this. Let that let that build back up. See that thing just drops down. So I shut that off. Alright, tank's full of pressure again. We're still at 80 psi. Tank's at like 120. That's off. This is hooked up. I have to hold this little this little valve up though. It doesn't come up with the air, it just kind of shakes around. Anyways, all right, so turn this on. Oh wait, let's go to zone six. So now zone six is open. Hold that up. That's closed, that's open. Turn this on. All right, so now zone six, there we go. Yeah, I used to have these lined up. I used to have these lined up perfect, but then it was starting to get starting to get dry over there. So I had to hit the sidewalk a little more. So then I had both these. I had to turn them both to angle the sidewalk. These are my old ones, the original ones that are dumb. Eh, that's probably enough water out of there actually. Okay, once you've finished your zones, hold on. Once you finish clearing out all your zones, you can go through it, go through it a second time if you want. Um, that's good enough for me. Then in here, there's uh, just a valve. I'm gonna open this valve. It's, uh, it's just crazy, a pressure release valve. So if all else fails, this is open. So you'd open that little valve in there next to your um, solenoids that control your sprinklers. That'll let any, any water out. And then next summer, when you turn it back on, you gotta turn those back off, or close those, rather. You gotta go to all your junction boxes and do this. Okay, that's nice. Awesome. It's just cat poop, don't worry. No idea what this is from. I turned the zone up way more on the on this area. Something something got in there. Oh, this one sucks. This is actually a rose bush. I don't know why. So I'm gonna put a rose bush right here. Ouch, freaking thorns. Okay. Mm. Okay, all this crap out of here. This one always has gnarly bugs too. Oh, may have to get a flathead and wedge it up.
Maybe a little twig. That'd be strong enough. Try a little twig. That storm's coming in. You can feel it. it was not nearly enough leverage. Okay, I'm gonna get flathead. Flathead. All right, got my flathead. Let's see if I can get it under here. There we go. Turning off this, or opening up this valve in here. It's the only valve that's different than the other zones. It's just like a hose spigot valve almost. So I just open it up all the way. Just in case there's any water, maybe it'll come out in here. Not freeze my pipes. Put this guy back on. Ah. Okay, that's never coming back up. All right, more cat poop. Okay, so all my zones are blown out. Now, I'm gonna actually close this completely, this, this valve going to the sprinklers, close that completely. I'm gonna open this up. Okay, so now the air is gonna go down here. I'm gonna get a bucket. There should be some sort of drain there too. So this has been off. That stays off now. Don't turn that back on. So there's pressure coming to here, it stops. For some reason this one has this valve also, which I don't get at all. I just leave that one open. So here's my little relief valve. There that is. So that's just a little bit of water. The problem is that my pipe goes up. This is uphill. So I actually hit pressure. I'll turn my compressor on and pressurize it into here. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this on. I'm gonna hold this up and turn this on and race to the basement. That's on. Well, as you can see, my bucket couldn't quite catch it where it was because it was here. And so some water got down there. No big deal. That'll dry out in like two years. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, a little more. So then that's all. This is off. That's on. I wouldn't put this cat back on. All right, that's close. I've caught pretty much no water in this bucket. Shut my compressor off. All right, so how we leave it. So the way we leave it. Woo! <laughs> That's probably not what you're supposed to do. Anyways, take that off of there. You don't leave that, oh, don't leave that closed. Leave it uh, like, uh, in between, so that's closed, that's open. Leave it right in between. Same with this one. Leave that one right in between. And then these valves, I think we leave them open. Or maybe I'll leave those right in between also. And then, um, take off this guy. See if I can get it. If you want to release the pressure without just taking that off and getting sketched out, you can just open up, open up this little valve right here, or even open this back up and it'll go back into the system, but you need to relieve it somehow. So you can turn the sprinkler system, the zone back on. How I did it was more fun though. Just look out for your eyes. So I'm gonna put this guy back on. Nice and tight. This valve is closed. I'm gonna do quarter on that also. Quarter, quarter, or half, half all the way. So none of them are all the way closed or all the way open. This thing's down, that's fine. 
if you did have to take that off, put that back on, you'll know because you'll be hitting it with air pressure in here. You hear a loud noise in here. And that just means that thing is not sealed up. So we have to manually hold it up, have someone hold it up. I still put this thing on. Should be extra safe. That's that's good. That's tight. That's yeah. That's all good. The water's off downstairs. It's you don't have to use one of these. Your water's all out of there. And then next summer when you're turning it on, you go around. You close these. These ones right here. These valves right in here. Close those on both junction boxes. You go to this thing, I'll show you. You make sure these are both closed all the way. You open this up all the way, open this up all the way, go into your basement and slowly crack on your water. And then you should be good. Then you can run your sprinkler system, see if there's any leaks that happened over the winter. If you did this blowout process right, then there won't be, hopefully. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching guys, like and subscribe. You.